Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for February 22nd, 2017. For your Wednesday, we're going to have a warm front that's going to be situated over the area this morning. So we're going to have uh, some clouds, some areas of patchy fog, and a very light south or southeast wind uh, that were hardly noticeable. So once that fog lifts this afternoon and the clouds move away as this front here dissipates, we will have uh, have improving conditions where the sun will start to peak out a little bit. I don't think you're going to get like uh, full sun with no you know bright sunny skies or anything like that, but I do think you have some opportunity to see some sun this afternoon in most places. Uh, there is also an opportunity for a very, very isolated shower, uh, but most areas stay dry this morning. Going a little bit fur uh, further from this point here, we get into... Uh, Thursday. Uh, now we are going to get milder today behind this front, but I think those clouds early on are going to limit how how warm it can actually get today. But Thursday will be less inhibited. Uh, we should have a, a pretty good flow from the southwest here and get those temperatures up uh, to the upper 60s to near 70 degrees in many areas uh, here on Thursday. I really think the best heating day though is going to come here on Friday. We'll have another warm front that's going to move through here uh, Friday night. Might have a shower across our northern areas. Uh, with that, but I think areas further south are going to benefit from uh, being in the clear for most of the day here on Friday. So we should have uh, just another one of those days where you have a strong southerly or south south southwesterly flow, and that's going to allow these temperatures to soar. I think this is your peak heating day of this uh, current uh, mini heat wave, if you will. I know it's not really a heat wave. We're not talking about summer yet, but for this time of year, this is a heat wave. Uh, so they were talking about temperatures here that are probably be in the middle 70s down here by Philadelphia, probably hit 70 over a large area, and then maybe uh, uh, upper 60s farther north. Let's go over to the temperature map here and show you what we're looking at. Uh, this is a look at uh, temperatures here on Thursday. Again, uh, we're just starting to see the surge of warmth here from the southwest here as these southwesterly winds kick in. There's going to be 70s across uh, basically these areas right here. These are all be, areas where we'll all be in the 70s. Uh, it's going to become close to 70, just a little bit further north than that. I know some of these readings here are 68. These are about right here, 67, 68. May make a run at 70 in some places if we can get rid of uh, some morning fog and get past that. Uh, we should be able to make a run here at 70 degrees in some of those central areas as well. But I think the real better chance of that happening over a more widespread area will actually come the next day. And this is a look at Friday. You can see more areas are in these, uh, some of these more oranges are showing up more prominently. So I do think you're going to get a little higher. Now, don't take these numbers here verbatim, what they say here. You probably have to add a few degrees to this. The models, like we talked about in yesterday's video, are still on a seasonal bias algorithm, which means they're kind of geared toward winter and not really expecting temperatures to be this high. So sometimes it doesn't project these correctly. We've seen that this past weekend, uh, where temperatures were projected to just to be about uh, 60, 62, and they ended up 68, 69, 70 degrees in many locations. So uh, we are going to bump these up a little bit, not going to go crazy with it, but uh, we'll have temperatures, again, uh, lower 70s in the middle parts here, uh, mid 70s, definitely a distinct possibility here on Friday for uh, the uh, areas further further south by Philadelphia, Philadelphia Metro. Uh, but we do want to get into Saturday, though, because Saturday ahead of this front, this front has slowed down a little bit on um, just about every piece of guidance, including the GFS. Uh, but this front is now back here. Uh, this is now looking at Sunday uh, late afternoon, evening, I do think you get into temperatures uh, that are going to be well in, uh, near 70 again for many areas further east of that front. But uh, further west, you're going to have that cold front come through and it'll be capped. So up to about State College here, you'll see see a 56 degree rating here. That's the temperatures are crashing as the temperatures uh, as the front comes through. Uh, this will be accompanied by showers and thunderstorms. I do want to get over to that. Uh, but once this front goes through, uh, these temperatures will continue to drop and they'll drop pretty quickly. Here's the uh, before the front. Uh, here's as the front's coming through and here's after and just clears the coast and you get some much colder temperatures uh, here for Sunday and then again on Monday. So let's look at the back to the synoptic map here just to give you an idea of what we're looking at for precipitation. Uh, again, we have that, that warm front moving through very, very uh, early Friday morning, probably late Thursday night. Uh, early Friday morning could be a shower across our northern areas, but I do think everywhere else is warm sectored, so we're going to be uh, turning partly cloudy for most of Friday if you're not already or starting off that way further south. And then we do have this line of showers and thunderstorms in association with a low that's cutting it way up to the north. This is going to end up being about 200 miles north of Toronto. So uh, the best forcing is closest to the area low pressure. So we're not going to have the best forcing down here. So we're not looking at uh, severe weather as a whole. Can't say it's not impossible, but I really am still not liking the idea of severe weather here on Saturday. Just some showers and there will be some thunderstorms with this as this line comes through. Uh, later in the afternoon and uh, maybe early evening, and then it rotates through all the way to the coast here. But you can see uh, right now it doesn't look like anything more than a line of thunderstorms just uh, 
could be could be locally strong, but I think that's the best you can you're going to see out of this because again the best force is going to be further to the north, and that's where the uh, any severe weather would be if the temperatures were supportive, which they're not. So it's kind of like a catch twenty two. You will have severe weather the day prior out here, uh, when, because that's because the low pressure is further south. But once that moves up to the northeast, too far to the north here, it doesn't allow for much forcing in our area to get those severe storms. So thunderstorms we will get, I think, uh, and that's going to be on Saturday afternoon and evening. Uh, early evening for uh, that frontal passage, and then of course we get colder here on uh, on on um, Sunday with uh, temperatures that are going to be back down to near normal for this time of year. Maybe a couple degrees warmer here by uh, by Monday, but we're not looking at any precipitation. Uh, besides that, at, in the uh, in the forecast period, we're going to watch for a little a uh, little system coming in from the southwest that might affect us with some light showers here by Tuesday. It's going to be another warm front associated with this. So we'll we'll cross this bridge when we get there, but it's not looking like a big deal at this time. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is our outlook for February 22nd, 2017. Have a great Wednesday.